It is a scene typical for Bangladesh's capital, Dhaka. The busy market, nicely lit displays, plenty of shoppers and the inevitable blackout. Too much demand, too little supply, electricity service here is unreliable. Bangladesh has many rivers and low-lying land that make it difficult to build an extensive electric grid. For families in the countryside, the power lines are often out of reach, which is why Bangladesh has the world's fastest growing market for solar home systems. Two million households already rely on their individual solar panels. Solar power helps farmers to run irrigation pumps, families to save fuel and children to study at night. And it empowers women and girls in particular. Like many rural women, Musamat Farida has few modern amenities. Living outside of Dhaka, the 42-year-old has no access to public utilities. Her kitchen consists of nothing but a stove on the ground. But not long ago, Musa Mat made a down payment for a solar home system, a chance to power a TV, a fan and most importantly, electric light. Solar power brought more than modern conveniences to the neighborhood, it's brought security. Ever since we got the solar home system, life here has become safer. There are fewer thefts and robberies. The thieves used to steal the cows. Now that has become much harder because there is light everywhere. People say there are bad things in the dark, there is evil, there are ghosts standing around. We were afraid and did not go out much in the dark. Now we aren't scared anymore. For police, theft is not the only problem. In the dark, women and girls who venture outside have often been assaulted. But on the island of Sundweb in the Bay of Bengal, solar power helps to keep trouble away. Streets are not deserted anymore and when police patrol the main street in the evening, they only find a bustling business district, where merchants use the light to make money till late at night. And the local police station is operating with solar energy as well. Normally the criminals like to work in the dark, but now we have light, now they need to hide. With light everywhere, things are getting more civilized. And we have noticed that violence against women has decreased a lot. This solar power plant, part of the rural electrification project supported by the World Bank, brings affordable power to this island. A 100 kilowatt mini grid that supplies electricity to almost 250 shops, a few health centers and schools. Stored in massive batteries, the electricity is available around the clock. Solar energy is much cheaper here than the fuels used with lamps and generators. Now that they are spending less on energy, the rural poor are changing some long-held traditions. Before, families would reserve the expensive kerosene lamp for boys to do their school homework. Solar power has changed the equation. In this area in the past, people were not interested in educating their daughters. It was too expensive for them. They only cared about the boys. But now, using solar light, they have reduced their expenses. Now they can have both boys and girls study under the same light. Ten-year-old Kusum Koli Roy lives with her family in a modest home with a solar home system. Every night she studies under solar light, learning English often with the help of her father. We can study much better now. The solar lights have helped us a lot with our education. And there are thousands of girls like Kusum who now have a chance to study. Bangladesh has 60,000 families installing a new solar home system every month. They the what? New clothes, sing songs, play games and enjoy the day.